Hey guys, uh, it was great to see you all this morning. Um, I'm going to record now our lecture on um, uh, the abbreviations, okay? So let me present my screen. And again, it's going to be pretty short, so no worries. Um, we're going to do slideshow here. <clears throat> okay. So this is pharmacy med term because we're going to go over um, basic medical terminology when it comes to the pharmacy, but we're also going to talk about um, abbreviations as well. So one big thing that you need to remember that you probably remember from uh, med term, if you took med terminology, I don't know if y'all took medical terminology or not, but um, you've probably done some of this in health science um, or principles of health science, if that's what you took. Um, so the prefixes are found at the beginning of the words. The roots are usually in the middle, and then you have suffixes, which are at the end of the word. Um, so these can help you figure out what the word means. For example, rhinitis. So rhine is nose. And itis is inflammation, so inflammation of the nose is rhinitis, which is probably what I have right now if I sound um, stuffy because <laughs> I have inflammation of the nose uh, from all of this congestion. So that's just one example. Um, obviously, rhine would be the prefix and itis would be the suffix. And usually itis is a suffix in a lot of different medical terms, um, and that means inflammation, and it means inflammation of, and you can, you know, see what that means um, when you look at the prefix. All right, so <laughs> um, abbreviation examples. You need to know all of these. These are just some common ones. Um, PRN, and these are, I'm sorry, these are, um, uh, these are abbreviations that are used in the pharmacy, but I think they're also like medical abbreviations too, so you might need to know them for lots of reasons. PRN is as needed. AC is before meals. BID is twice a day. TID is three times a day. If you notice, D um, is day, like BID. Um, the D is always going to be day of the week or whatever because it could be different things. QH is every hour. HS is at bedtime. And PC is after meals. Um, okay, so common abbreviations. Doctors use a series of abbreviations to communicate with the pharmacist. These abbreviations note or basically tell you how often to take, to take the medication, for example, twice a day or every four hours, when to take the medication, for example, at night or before meals, um, how much medication to take, one tablet, one tablet, 100 milligrams, um, like you know, that's an example of how much they might, that patient might take. And then um, how to use this medication. You might apply it topically to the skin. Um, you may take it by mouth. Um, so all of these things are important and they're going to um, usually have an abbreviation that goes along with them that will um, tell you what to put in the computer for the label for the patient. So this is an example of a prescription. Um, you might have seen this in PLTW. I actually taught um, human body systems a while back, and I thought this was a good example of one, so I used it for this class. Um, I, I taught human body systems like five years ago, but um, they did a little uh, pharmacology portion. So um, this was just one example. And this is the patient's name, address, and the date, which would be like today. And you'll see the Rx symbol here. And then you're going to see this right here in the middle of the prescription. And again, this is a prescription that's given to the patient to give to the pharmacy, or it's emailed to, uh, or emailed or faxed or called in to the pharmacy directly, okay? Um, if they call it in, they're just going to like say it out to you, but that's when the, remember, that's when the, um, pharmacist has to, um, take all of this information in, um, and the, the, over the phone. Um, so Diovan is the medication and then it has 40 milligrams next to it. Okay. So one could conclude that Diovan might be a, um, a tablet or some kind of a um, pill form, usually it's pill form, and they're 40 milligrams 
per tablet, right? Um, that's what you would kind of take from this. It says DISP, that DISP means dispense, okay? And the number 90 means how many pills that you need to dispense. So you're going to need to dispense 90 pills, okay, to the patient. 90 pills of this Diovan 40 milligrams. And then you'll see this down here. So SIG actually means directions or take. It could be like the directions are to take or take or to take. Um, then you're going to see the I right here. I and uh, is a Roman numeral one. That's what they're going to, uh, or and you could see uh, two I's or three I's and that'd be one, two, or three. So um, take one. Then PO is by mouth. And then QD is every day. So Q is every and D is daily or every day. Day. D is for day. So Q is every, D is day. So this is going to be, you're going to dispense 90 pills of Diovan, 40 milligrams. And you're going to, uh, the patient's directions are going to be to take one of these pills by mouth every day. Okay. So what's important about this is that obviously you're not going to make a, uh, you're not going to make a, uh, 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 what's it called? Label for the patient that says SIG1 POQD because they're not going to know what that means, right? So the, uh, you're going to type this into the computer and the computer and you're going to put in, uh, take one pill uh, by mouth every day for the patient. So then when there is a prescription label that's printed out, that's what's going to be on there, along with some other stuff too, which we'll go over. But I wanted y'all to know the basics of how uh, prescription abbreviations are used in the pharmacy. So that's an example. And then <laughs> it's going to have refill information down here. So patients, um, if they're if they get a refill, one of these will be um, circled PRN, we already talked about that means as needed. So if they can get have as many refills as they want, the doctor might uh, uh, put PRN or circle PRN down here. And then the doctor would sign it down here. Okay, so some common prefixes and suffixes to know. Um, these are just some that are really common in the pharmacy. Uh, and these are actually um, prefix suffixes in different medications. So you're going to have to, there's a list of 200 drugs you're going to have to memorize by the end of the semester. And, or I'm not, but not by the semester, by the year <laughs> before you take your test. And we call it the top drugs list. So they want you to know these top drugs. Well, a lot of them are very similar. And so what I have you do is look for those similarities <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, look for those similarities in these drug names because you can kind of figure out what kind of drug they are. For example, prazol is a suffix for a certain drug. It's for acid reflux, GERD, or um, stomach acid lowering, so to make the stomach acid lower in your stomach to keep you from having that heartburn. Um Medication example is omeprazole, omeprazole, but there's a bunch of different ones that have a different prefix. Um, there's like lasanoprazole, I can't think of another one, but there's a, there's a couple of them, and then you have this prazole at the end, okay? Well, you could figure out from knowing the suffix that it's a anti-GERD medication, and it's a pretty common anti-GERD medication, um, and so that's one example that you would, um, you could, you could uh, remember and you could uh, memorize. Another one is Sone, S-O-N-E. Um, so prednisone is a really common um, anti-inflammatory uh, corticosteroid. It's kind of like a steroid um, that helps with um, inflammation in the body. And um, there's a diff there's a couple of different Sones um, that are the same category of drug. So, sone would be the um, uh, suffix there. 
<laughs> um, another one would be Pril. Uh, so lisinopril is the example here for the medication, and it's a antihypertensive drug, which means it's a um, it's a um, anti high blood pressure drug. So for high blood pressure, you guys might know that um, heart disease and um, heart related issues are one of the number one reasons for death in America. Um, heart conditions, um, there's like heart attacks. But um, one of the precursors to heart attack and stroke is high blood pressure, which a lot of people have. So you'll notice if you work in the pharmacy, you'll see a lot of people with um, getting these high blood pressure medications. And probably one of the most common ones is lisinopril. Um, but there are other ones that have pril in the name as well. So if you know suff the suffix of pril, you would know that it's an antihypertensive drug that treats high blood pressure. Um, and then the last one is a statin drug, <coughs> which is the most common cholesterol-lowering uh, drug. And um, simvastatin would be the uh, most common one, and that's an example I put on here. Um, Latorvastatin is another one, but that statin is the suffix, right? So again, anti-hyperlipidemic or cholesterol-lowering drugs um, – a lot of them have that suffix of statin. So, uh, in fact, one of my students told me that there was a question on the test that actually asked just about statins. It said, you know, like, which of the following is a drug category that treats high blood pressure? And the answer was statins. So, um, that's important for you to know. Okay, so this is the list I was showing you guys on our um, Zoom meeting. So, these are all of the must-know abbreviations for the pharmacy. What I want you to do is look them up. Again, you can fill this chart out however you would like. You can print it out, and if you can do that, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm, I'm coughing. Um, you can print this out. That's probably the best, easiest way, and then you can just fill it in with like, um, I would say try to fill it in with with pencil, and then when I send out the um the the key you can check yourself and change any because there are some that are a little confusing that some people weren't able to find and stuff so do your best but you're going to turn this in uh for a grade so if you print it out and you fill it out um take a picture of it and upload it you can write it all out so you could um print each thing and make your own your own uh you know little graph or whatever you call this thing, um, your own list, and then um, upload it. Um, or you can figure out a way to type it in. Um, I think you probably can. I don't, I think you probably can on Word, at, like some way. I just don't know how to do it, but y'all are pretty savvy. So, um, and then also one question that I had or that someone had was, is there supposed to be a dash across the AA? It doesn't actually have to have that dash across there. Um, same with S and SS. I don't know why those are there. Sometimes I've never actually seen it like that in the pharmacy, but um, sometimes you can see it like that. I've seen it on like online, but I haven't actually seen it like that in the pharmacy. Like when people are um, like when I see examples of, of pharmaceutical um, stuff like that they're explaining. So um, you don't have to look it up with that little line at the top. <laughs> um, trying to think of anything else. So upload this. And um, so if you're doing this Wednesday, I'll have this due Monday. So next Monday, that would be the, let's see, the 12th. Okay. And then we will be meeting next week as well. So I may go, I'll probably go over them next week during our meet um, and also post. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think that's the end of this. Yes. Um, but again, this is really important for you guys to know uh, because like I said, the whole like being able to even um, like work in a pharmacy and fill prescriptions, you have to have um you have to have this this like framework, if if you will. Okay, so that's all I have. I uh, hope this wasn't too long. I'll talk to you guys soon.
Bye.